Hi, I'm Bobo, Product Specialist at Thinkbox Software, and the following demonstration will be discussing a new feature of Deadline 6.1, which is called Jigsaw. Jigsaw is a new multi-region rendering toolset for the 3ds Max submitter, and I'm going to open the submitter in order to show you where this feature lives and how it relates to the previously available tiles and region rendering. Once the submitter opens, you'll notice that uh, we still have the same tiles tab, but in this tab we have moved some controls around and we have added new uh, rollouts. The top rollout, tiles and region rendering options provides now a drop-down list which lets you switch between full-frame rendering, single and animation multi-region rendering, single and animation tile rendering and 3ds Max region rendering. Let's uh, take a look at these options. The regular 3ds Max region rendering just lets you specify one region. You can define uh, the area that you want to render. For example, if you change the front tire of uh, this car and you want to render to see the new color or the new shading. You can specify this region and you can switch to region crop or blow up, uh, blow up just like uh, in the 3ds Max uh, rendering settings and then you can submit this to render but it won't composite of a previously rendered image. You will have to do the compositing yourself. Um, a better solution for this case would be the tile rendering. The tile rendering lets you subdivide the screen into any number of equally sized regions and then each region would be rendered by a separate machine then the fragments rendered by each machine would be automatically assembled by a dedicated job or dedicated post render script so you would get the final image either a large print single image where you split an 8k or 10k or more uh, image resolution into smaller pieces to be rendered by individual machines or uh, you can render an animation but you still have to render every single of those tiles in order to assemble the final result. So our users asked us if we could give them a tool set that has the best of both worlds and basically we gave them the uh, so-called jigsaw multi-region rendering which uh, allows the user to define any number of regions um, at once without them necessarily overlapping. For example, I can select the front and rear tire and probably the other front tire of uh, this car and then I can go and say I want to create from selection regions and now I have uh, my render regions automatically defined with the correct size. I can move them around, resize them individually, uh, select individual uh, regions and either manually resize them or fit them to selections. For example, if I select this object here and with this region selected, hit the fit button, the region would be moved to where uh, the selected object is. I can fit it back to the tire and so on. And um, if I would render each one of these regions, even with subdivisions, I could go to this tire and say I want to submit this region to four different machines and this region will go to one machine and this one will also go to one machine. I can probably make this one smaller because we don't really see the tire back there. If I would submit those to render, they are going to be assembled automatically in the end using draft which ships with deadline and it's a command line compositing application. We can composite the resulting fragments of an empty background. We can composite them of a, a previously rendered version of the same uh, frame. We can composite of a custom uh, single image. We can pick it uh, from anywhere on the network and just uh, composite on top of it and produce the output. Or we can use an image sequence in order to get an animated camera with tracking regions around. We can in fact track uh, a region of of time uh, to a moving object on screen in camera space so we can do a pretty advanced uh, rendering this way. Uh, in the following minutes we're going to take a look at the various editor options, how we define regions, how we snap regions to each other, how we subdivide them, merge them, uh, delete them, save them, uh, keyframe them and so on. And uh, at a later point, we also take a look at the actual rendering submission and uh, how this uh, feature can save you hours and hours of rendering 
by just rendering what has changed.